Hey guys, just going to show off the Oculus with the Leap. There we go, there's my hand. So we are in a little, little world I made. Let me gesture towards it. There we go, it's kind of cool. So, pretty simple. Um, all works straight out of the box as stuff with the Oculus tends to. Come on guys, you're not needed. Um, that wasn't a joke by the way. The prefabs for the Oculus have all been pretty great. Uh, pretty infinity. A few Google searches, even a butt piss like me can sort of make things work. So, so there's my hand. Uh, this is just a fun little platform game I put together. Basically to test my own fear of heights. If you fall, it's pretty devastating, as you can imagine. Yeah, uh, I've got this attached to the body. I programmed this quite poorly. I'm about to get knocked off unless I can jump it. Oh, I did it! Ah, sick! Um, so I've got this attached. Most of the stuff recommends attaching it to the right eye socket of the Oculus. I say attached to the body because your hands in real life are attached to your body, not your face. So when you move your head, your hand doesn't stay in the field of vision. It stays attached to your body. There's a dog. Pretty powerful. As you can see, I've been too lazy to program <laughs> anything in the distance, whatever. It's nice that way, anyway. Okay, lost my keyboard. Great, alrighty. So, I put up a um, blow by blow of how to get it installed, but there's basically a really nice pre built hand rig um, you can use. Just used a few basic assets. Populate the sky with rock. Getting rocks that float cost extra, obviously. My little joke. Um, but you can hear that music in the background. Um, all the music I made, so that's why it sounds like a sad piano in a diner that's going out of business. But uh, the trees and birds and falling water sounds actually come from the guy from Sun and Aquarius who did some foley samples in Tasmania. That's kind of nice. Um, oh shit. Alright, let's into that. So yeah, 